Hello and welcome to the tutorial on Find the Missing Number. And in this tutorial, we are going to do number bonds We're going to do number bonds to 10 and we're going to do subtraction. Now let's just have a look at the grid we drew for number bonds to 10 when we were doing addition questions. So let's have a look at this. We've got 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we've got the numbers from 0 to 10. Now next to it we're going to write the numbers this time in reverse. So we've got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. And let's draw lines between them. These are effectively the number facts. Now 0 and 10, 0 plus 10 is 10. 1 plus 9 is 10. All of these numbers, they add to 10. Now effectively, we only need to le learn the numbers from here up to 5. Because the ones below, for example, 6 and 4, well, we've got it over here, 4 and 6. It's just the other way around. So these numbers all add to 10, and it is critical that you know this as one of the basis of arithmetic. Now let's have a look at the question we're going to be working through. Suppose we have this question here, 10 minus something equals 3. 10 minus something equals 3. Now we know that using our number facts that what number added to 3 makes 10. So what number added to 3 makes 10? What have we got over here? It's 7. So this one becomes 7. 10 minus 7 equals 3. Now you can use the dot method to check whether that's right. Well, we know it's right, but let, well, let's, let's check anyway. So we've got 10 dots to begin with. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And what we're going to do is we're going to cross out 7 dots. So let's cross them out. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. How many dots are left? We've got 1, 2, 3. That's the same over there. Same as the answer 3. So 10 minus 7 equals 3. And we've done that using this number grid on the left. Let's look at one more question. Suppose we have 10 minus something equals 6. 10 minus something equals 6. Now again, we can look at our grid over here. What number added to 6 gives 10? What number added to 6 gives 10? It's over here. The answer is 4. 10 minus 4 equals 6. That is correct. Again, you can use the dot method to check whether it's right. Now we did the we're doing this as the subtraction. Let's have a look at a an addition question. Now suppose we have the question we had before which was 4 plus something equals 10. 4 plus something equals 10. Now what do you think the answer is? Again, we look at our number grid. What number added to 4 gives 10? It is 6. 4 plus 6 equals 10. Let's have a look at one more. One plus, or actually, let's, uh, let's go back a stage. What we're going to do is, we're going to try to find out the first one. So we've got something plus 1 equals 10. So what number added to 1 gives 10? It is right at the top over here. It is 9. 
And again, we can use the dot method to check. So once you know these facts on the left, where 0 and 10 makes 10, 1 and 9 makes 10, 2 and 8 makes 10, all the way down to 5 and 5 makes 10, once you know those, you'll be able to do number bonds, whether they are addition or subtraction, very easily.